Hey there, we will be running Wraith of Earth, the former citizens at tier 2. We've got myself, Penwin is a minstrel, we've got Suzaku, the greatest captain of all, as you can see, tanking with over a 40k morale. And then we've got uh, Jarl, who's great DPS champion, and we've got two low masters. So we should be able to do it. We're gonna run it uh, tier two with the challenge, and I'm gonna try to guide you through of how the challenge works, so that you can you can try it yourself. Because after the upgrade, they made everything a bit harder, but the foremost instances are still really doable. So we should be ready to go any moment now. If I remember correctly, this is the challenge I like the most of all. Because it's so much AoE at the end and I just love killing everything, so should be fun. Um, in the starting area here, there's only one thing that you really gotta take into account and that is not to kill the little goblins. You can kill the archers at the top, but not the little goblins. Because if you kill those, the boss will get a buff and he'll get stronger and it will get harder. So what we're gonna try to do is Kill the archers, kill the boss, and then kill the goblins. Okay, let's go. Don't really see what we're waiting for. One, two, three, four, five. So, this is the boss. We'll kill him after we kill the archers. There we go. Now we're getting started. It could be a bit laggy, um, but I'll do my best not to ruin it. I've got the graphics at lowest, so I hope um, it runs it runs well. So we're gonna take out the arches only, not really hitting the goblins, also not using any AOE, just taking out. Those block mold pillagers. Okay, we got a dead healer. That should make it interesting. Oh, he's back. And now that we got the arches, we will start getting the boss. Still not using any AoE to make sure the boss doesn't get get buffed up, because that can kill us very easily.
There we go. Now we take down the goblins. There used to be a bug, I don't know whether it's it's fixed already, but we're not doing it. Where you can drag all the goblins into the next area and then the the troll the, all the trolls won't spawn so you'll just be able to run through it. But I don't know whether that's fixed or not. Um, I would think it is, because it's been a while since I've tried it. So that's for the first boss. Okay, there we go. Just AOE all the way. It is very, very important that you are traded for AOE, especially in the last boss fight. It's if you if you do not have enough area damage that instantly kills you because there will be so many adds that you'll need to take out in a very short period don't know whether we'll be doing the trebuchets or not, I'm guessing we will. I'm sorry about the game being really slow, but like I said, it's just with all, especially with all the fire and the rain of arrows and stuff, that it's just lagging really 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 hard okay and we'll just use the powder box next to the trebuchet to uh, kind of blow it on blow it or set it on fire there we go that's one you do not have to do those side quests, but I guess we're just doing them to well to show you if you want to do them. If you're not gonna do them, you can try to sneak through a bit, and you can just ignore the ads here. You do not have to kill everything, um, but we're just gonna try to do and and show as many as we as much as we can. So here is the second power box. Zaku is igniting that one. And boom. There we go. So we got ourselves another boss over here. One million health points or morel. Go. Now for the big guy. Not really anything special here, I think. Huh. Okay, so after one minute and ten seconds, as you can see, 
um, this guy will break into a rage which will give him not more defense but so much more offense so we'll have to try to take him down before that happens or um, try to kill him as soon as possible while it's happening got 36 seconds left I think we're gonna make it oh it's starting already just gonna make sure he does not reach that final reach I think I think this is the worst one got 10 seconds left And there we go, he is in total rage and we kill him. Okay, so that's that for Gurgamap, or however you are supposed to pronounce it. I will be heading further. I think we're making a big pull here. Yeah, you can avoid this group by walking, as you can see. Zach running now. But I think we should take out these trolls first. Oh, they cannot use the stairs. You can just run through them because they are unable to take the stairs, I think. Okay, there we go. We'll take him down after all. Yeah, they can take the stairs, as you can see. I was wrong. So we did have to take him out. There we go. Now, you have to walk around carefully. Make sure you don't pull him. And you can just ignore him and get here. Okay, we got the last trebuchet over here. 
think I'm gonna pull the group here by lighting this power box and letting the trebuchet explode, but I'll try not to. There we go. Normally you can also run in between these spear hurdlers, but apparently we did not do that. Well, someone pulled them. We gotta organize a bit. Get them all a bit together. And then start the AOE. Now we're talking. Gotta watch out to protect that champion. I think he's even squishier than I am. There we go. Now we are going to head into the building, I think, almost. Getting some pretty good money here. You can also sneak past that group over there, don't need to pull them. The problem is while you're playing with law masters, and I think that is what happened, is that um, their pets will pull some uh, some of our enemies. Okay, we are in the big room now, just need to get a few floors up by opening a gate, uh, by pulling levers, but first we're going to have to take out this big guy over here. If you got hunters, make sure this cry of the hunter skill is off cooldown when you get to the boss. Because it can really save lives over there. Okay, so that was one. Whoa. Okay, that was my bad. I got a whole group of angry goblins behind me. And I'm gonna solve this by some serious AoE damage.
Okay, so we got that one. I don't think there was a lever here. Nope, there isn't. The next one is right over here. So you just go into the room, pull everything, start AOEing, and pull the lever. I think Saku just pulled the lever. There was no kind of code, you just have to pull every lever once. So make sure you appoint one person that does that so you don't keep pulling in wrong ways and stuff. I don't actually know even whether you can pull it two times. No, you can't. So, no worries about that. Okay. He's down. In the meanwhile, we've got Suzaku barely, barely alive. Tanking some trolls. <laughs> having, having some fun, I think. Almost ran out of power, gotta be a bit more careful. Yeah, the lore masters can fix that, of course. There we go. That's a lot of fire. And I think this is the last room we need. Okay. So that's that. Now this gate is open by pulling all the levers and we'll be going up a level. I don't think we're there yet. I think we need to go up two levels. Yeah, first we have this hallway that Suzaku is going to pull entirely, yes? Yes, he is. Didn't expect some anything else from him, but... Still, okay, gotta start that AOE. Wow, this is one of the biggest lags <laughs> ever. Getting so many mobs. At the same time, makes my computer just not knowing what to do anymore. There we go, we're getting back. Get some ads down, getting that computer a bit faster. No, not entirely better though. We're getting there. There we go. I think we're gonna get to the boss now. from right yeah okay there he is so the challenge is to kill the boss without having killed any of the ads the thing that is hard about that is the fact that there will be so many ads coming in and well yeah 
you'll have to kill the boss really quick at the end because there will be tons of ads around you and yeah it will be hard because there will be a lot of incoming damage that's why I, I mentioned the cry of the hunter skills cry of the hunter skill I'm sorry before uh, because it can stun uh, a lot of enemies at the same time So now we still got some time to manage the power a bit. But from this point on, we'll just need to start throwing in all the damage you got. But no AoE at all. So Suze is apparently just kiting all the ads around the room while we are damaging the boss. Some more ads coming in. We got the boss halfway. getting there. We got two low masses too so it's gonna be crazy AoE damage in a minute. Boss ears down. Bring uh, bring all the ads to the center, please. Okay, let the party begin. Rain of arrows all the way. We got the fire going on. This is plain murder. Only the trolls are still alive. There we go. Okay, so that was the foremost um, Earth Wing. Let's see what we get. It doesn't seem that good for me, but apparently somebody got something really good. Oh, someone got another crystal. Yeah, I got one before during the first run with this group. Okay, um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you uh, when I see you.